Never naman sa buhay ko did I want a very, very big house. Dito happy na ako. Comfortable kami. Comfortable yung mga bata. Gusto ko lahat accessible. This was a, a house. You know, dati kasi walang pader to. Yun ang kagandahan ng lugar na ito. Ako lang nagtayo ng pader. 1.1 uh, hectares nung pamilyang Manyosa Yalsita. Bobby Manyosa, our natural architect. This was Manyosa, yung kapatid ng babae. When she passed away in the early 2000s, iniwan mo na yung bahay, but of course, pag hindi tinitirahan, nanditeriorate. So they put it up for sale. Sinuerte ako. So, nanatiling ganito. Of course, may mga konting improvements. May guest house. Kasi minsan, pag nagdi-dinner, so yung iba eh, nakakainom ng konti. Hindi ko muna pinapauwi. Pinatutulog ko na lang dito. Later on in the evening, makita nyo ang tahimik dito. Kaya mahal na mahal ko yung San Juan. So, and then there's a nice breeze plus pito aso. You know, so, mapapunod po sila ng lalaro the whole time. I am a big fan of yung uh, Filipino contemporary artists. That is by a, a painter called Bunny Santos. Si Bunny wanted to expand yung kanyang practice of, of different uh, subjects. So, nag-enroll sa TESDA. Kumuha ng welding. After that, ito yung kanyang creation after TESDA. Mga kutsara na pinag-weld weld yan together. Meron ako, that is one of the smallest pieces, pero with a sense of history. Kung titignan nyo dun yung apat na yan, that came from Paris. That was a billboard. Isang malaki billboard kung saan may mga show, may nagpapaskel na tapos dadaanan ng parang gaw-gaw o what have you. Then, when I started hearing about galleries dito, and then nakikita mo yung art ng mga Pinoy. Ang galing, ang gagaling. Can be compared to international artists. Hindi lang natin nabibigyan ng tulak or sapat na mark, uh, marketing ng kanilang produkto eh. Pero contemporary art uh, plays a very, very big role in society now. And we should really ipagbalaki natin sa buong mundo.